Hi, I'm Jason Sapan. This is the Holographic Studios. We've been here since the 70s. We're New York's only commercial holographic laboratory, artistic uh, gallery, and we make, teach, sell, and pretty much anything that deals with holography right here on premises. What a hologram really is, is it's an impression of an object in light. In holography, we're taking the purest form of light, laser light, and what we're doing is we're echoing it off an object in the same kind of way that radar or sonar bounce a wave off the surface of an object. So we're capturing the light wave itself in the film medium and within the thickness of the film and we're talking if you cut a micron in half that's about the size of your typical light wave so we're working in just above nanotechnology sizes over here is uh, one of our laboratories We are actually, the room itself is the housing, the box of the camera, and these are the lenses within the camera. It's like, it would be off like this with the lights off, and then we would do an exposure, right? So, do you want me to do that? Sure. I just did it. <laughs> See the laser overhead there? That laser goes through a shutter, an electronic shutter, hits a beam splitter, half of it then bounces straight back to this mirror overhead and down here to where we wrap film around this cylinder. The other beam goes down from the splitter and goes through a lens and through a uh, film roll where one frame at a time is then projected through a series of collimating and anamorphic lenses and turns into a thin slit that is then compressed, optically compressed, and becomes a holographic exposure here. Then a, suite, a sequence occurs where the shutter opens, a frame is exposed onto the holographic film, a step motor advances the holographic film a millimeter or so, the movie film is then advanced with a regular motor, one frame, and it begins again and again and again. A full cylinder for me represents about, well, it's about 2,160 separate exposures and we do them about, oh, about half a minute apart. So it's about a 20, minute, 20 hour cycle to do a full 360 degree hologram. It's not like we can go to Apple and order a component or, you know, we have to create all the shit ourselves. Well, I sort of grew up in the field. My dad was an electrical engineer. And in the early 60s, I think it was about 62 or 63, he brought home a laser. So I sort of grew up in it. Um, in 68, I actually got my first job in holography over at the uh, Time Life building, and it was the first exhibition showing holography and lasers to the public. And then in the early to mid 70s, suddenly, you know, people who were more creative started getting into the medium. Suddenly, I saw the potential to sort of find a nexus between science and art and technology and it was a road that wasn't traveled. The William J. Clinton Presidential Library is acquiring this hologram. Can you see it? Yeah. I don't drop my shit. That's, that's the technical word for holographic equipment. Yeah. 
has this. Help me! I think I'd rather make holograms than, you know, do something that isn't fun, you know? So it's like, gee, I can do almost anything and it doesn't matter, you know? There's no rule book saying, like, here, do this, otherwise, you know, it's not acceptable.